What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here, bringing you a brand new video, but before that, 75% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. That means two things. 75% of you guys are either returning or brand new to the channel. If so, hopefully this is the video that gets you hit that subscribe button today. Now, let's get into- What the f- What? What? Ah! <laughs> Don't miss out on this merch available this October. Try to find all the Easter eggs of iconic games and series that I've had on my channel. There's going to be two versions of the shirt, one that will be exclusive and limited to this month of October, celebrating 250,000 subscribers. I'm really close to 250, so hit that subscribe button and pick up some merch today! <laughs> Links down below. What's up, everybody? Steven Zekilla here, bringing another reaction to some more Death Battle! And it is time for Frieza versus Megatron. Now, before we get into this, um, a few... Oh, wait, let me also put on some background music. Boom. Because I need to have that on just to keep myself safe from YouTube. BS, because Rooster Teeth and um, Death Battle basically usually block my stuff if I don't have background music. So, it is what it is. Um... But, before we get into this, I will say, you guys let me know that my knowledge of Megatron was lacking. When I outright said that Megatron uh, has no chance against even probably Namek Frieza. Um, now, going into this, my mindset was, what can Megatron do? And you guys specified that Megatron from the comic book series of Transformers. Not the animated TV series that I grew up watching. Not the Michael Bay live action movies that I've seen. Um, and the multiple different, like... Uh, oh, there was actually quite a few. I watched the Beast ones. I watched a lot of Transformers animated TV series when I was growing up. I never read the comics book, though. So, you guys said there was a lot of things in the comics that m might pull Megatron more... Um, up there in power scaling and stuff like that because to be honest with all what I knew I didn't see Megatron having the ability to pull out one of his guns or anything and destroy a planet maybe a mountain maybe a city but not a planet so now going into this my mindset was all right I really need to see what they are going to bring to the table and at first I was like oh wow okay um, they seem to be making it look like Namek Saga Frieza versus Megatron because they only showed Namek Saga for like, I would say a good, um, 60% of their analysis stuff and then they dived into the, uh, the Battle of Gods movies, the information, the Resurrection F movies stuff, and then they went all the way to the, um, 11 year training thing that he did to obtain his new form, uh, Black Frieza, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, so they are going to that far. So it is it is going to be a very tough fight. Now, uh, based off what they said from Megatron, I will say they he has one attack that probably could kill Frieza, and that is that anti-matter uh, blast that he has with his eyes um, that's coming from like a black hole. It doesn't matter how powerful, how tanky, or anything, it will destroy you. So it doesn't matter how much of um, how much you can handle kind of situation. So if, if anything, that is probably the one and only thing that Megatron can do that could kill Frieza. Um, but we've seen Frieza take God of Destruction itself, Hakai, and basically defend himself from it. So, hey, thank you for subscribing. I don't get, Oh, that's why. <laughs> the alert box is behind now. Whoops. All right. Um, now, the one thing Frieza is known for is having a huge ego. Um, I would say, when it comes to everything, Frieza's one advantage is his speed. Uh, Megatron does not have the same speed. They didn't specify, like... Uh, exactly how fast Megatron was. I watched the information already as you can see, 20, uh, 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 14, 25. 
Um, they didn't really specify Megatron's like outright speed, but let's be honest. I think with him transforming and whatnot, yeah, he can be fast, but he's not light year, like light speed fast. Reaction wise, maybe, but not actual like, fa uh, like fast fast. Uh, Frieza is definitely got the speed edge. I feel like Frieza has um, just as much, if not more, power. So Frieza has, I think, a little bit of more power. Um, durability, I think. I still feel like durability is up there. Um, they, they can be seen as somewhat equal in some other other stuff. But the one thing that Megatron does have over Frieza is his intelligence. And let's be honest, Frieza's a dumbass at times. He does some stupid stuff. Uh, he has too much ego, and I think that's going to get him killed against Megatron. And Megatron can easily take advantage of that. Doesn't matter how strong, how durable you are, if you're stupid and you fall for a trap that can get you killed, you're gonna fucking get killed. So, with that given, and that mindset of stuff, Megatron can easily win this if he can play Frieza, basically. Uh, especially if he does use that eye attack with the black hole thing. And if it actually truly can kill Frieza, then Frieza loses. But if not, and Freeze is able to deal a killing blow to Megatron, then Freeze wins. It really just depends on a lot of factors here. Uh, last week I was like 100% this is a one-sided fight, this is going to be an easy wash. Now I'm like, I could see and accept Freeza losing because of some of the factors. But I'm still going to be on the side of Freeza over Megatron. That's just me. So, let's find out. Let's see what this is all about. And hopefully you guys enjoy what you see here. Subscribe to the notification bell. Don't miss out on the merch. Don't miss out on the on the Memberthon stream. Let's get into this right now. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data for all possibilities. It's time for a death, death battle. battle! Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Is Frieza going to try to take their planet? That's the story. Is that the voice of Frieza from Team Four Star? I think it is. Yep, that's definitely Team Four Star voice Frieza. Pity, <laughs> I'll have to construct a new mothership from your corpse. <laughs> Damn. Okay, this is going to be a tough fight for Megatron because he has a planet to protect in the meantime in this fight. So, I would say Frieza really has the edge right now. Frieza doesn't give a fuck about anything around him besides himself. I love the fact that they brought that to... It is a speed versus mind kind of game because... Both have high durability, uh, both have high attack, but the difference is speed and intelligence. By the way, the music is awesome. Those other weapons are doing some work. What? 
Cybertron's not gonna make it out of this, I think. Oh, that is another thing. Frieza can't sense his energy. Ooh, that is one advantage I didn't think about. Golden Frieza. Yep, here we go. I just don't see Megatron surviving Black Frieza. That's the thing. Megatron needs to take advantage of Frieza before he goes to his black form. Cybertron is kind of fucked here. He's actually able to hold that back. What? I guess Frieza does know uh, can move things with with his power. But I didn't expect him to move a fucking plant like that. Oh, Cybertron is done. We know exactly. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Now this is it. This is the part where he's going to try to trick Frieza and he's going to get too close and he's going to get hit by this dark energy thing. I don't think it's going to be enough once he goes... Uh, like He still hasn't gone uh, Black Frieza, so this is not going to be good for Megatron. Not going to be good! So powerful and yet you will wander the depths of space for eternity all because of me! What a fool. Torture you until your screams can be heard in the vacuum of space. Die a fool's death. Did that actually work? <laughs> it didn't. Let's go. Really? Re you just gave Megatron the line, you fool? Really? Let's go! I never thought I'd be rooting for Frieza. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, okay, I was worried there for a second. I was genuinely worried there, but nah, this was a very close match. It's literally a mixture of Frieza having more durability and uh, just has a little bit more power, especially with his black form. Um, and just even though he could be outwitted, I was I, I, if he could handle the attack, which he did somewhat, but god damn. Okay, so that would 100% kill Frieza there. So how come Frieza didn't die? Frieza, on the other hand, has always relied on his raw power and intimidation to win fights. When things don't go his way, he has a tendency to freak out. However, Frieza has survived getting most of his body obliterated and kept going. Which meant the antimatter wasn't a sure yeah. win. It would have to 
completely cover Frieza's whole body before he could react. And Frieza okay, so Frieza's speed got him out of there, but only half of him made it out of there uh, without being disintegrated. Okay. So if it wasn't for his speed and and quick reaction, he would have died. Way too fast for that. While Megatron scaled the characters who could cross galaxies, Frieza has kept up with Goku, who should be at least trillions of times faster. And on his smaller size and key force field, Frieza had more than enough ways to avoid, defend, or survive the antimatter. So Megatron's only option was power. While Megatron has survived planet busting explosions and even fought with a being that had the energy of a universe behind it, Golden Frieza was just too much for him. Considering yeah. he certainly surpassed Goku and Beerus' punch class, since Universe 7 as a whole should be over 13 times larger than our own universe, Frieza's super forms would far exceed Megatron's own power. And that feat happened at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super. Goku has gotten leagues stronger since then, and Black Frieza is currently beyond him. There was just no way Megatron yeah. was strong enough to keep up. Megatron was a devious foe, but Frieza's power, speed, and sheer survivability allowed him to crush the Decepticon leader underfoot. I guess you could say Megatron was cool, but Frieza was cooler. The winner is Frieza. Alright. That was awesome. Alright, let's find out who the next fighters are. Here's a matchup for the next season. So click that join button and jump into our champion's Discord. Okay. Oh! Gojo versus Makima? Makima? I think it's her name. I need to finish. I have not finished Chainsaw Man. Uh, the anime. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. But I think there's already been like... I think I reacted to something a long time ago that was already a fight between these two. I think it was on a live stream reaction. I don't know if it was an individual video, but I think I watched something that explained uh, the fight between these two and how it would go. I think Gojo would win. Makima, Makima would definitely have um, a lot of ways to stay alive and come back, but over time, Gojo would just win. I think a lot of people like will probably be on that side. So between the two characters... I think Gojo wins this. Although I think recently somebody like there was like something going on with the like, I've never I haven't watched any of the Jitsutsu Kaisen at all. I haven't seen anything. Uh, I've watched a little bit of Chainsaw Man, but I don't know enough. So comment down below who do you think is gonna win? And I think between the two, as of right now, without any real knowledge. Um, and what I've seen in the past when it came to these two fighting, I think Gojo has the edge. So, I could be wrong. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Till next time, subscribe to the notification bell and stay tuned for more. Till then, later!